All right, and we are live. Welcome to the Team Tough Hangout. This is the down and dirty at 1.30 Central Time, 2.30 if you are in New York time, Eastern time. And today we have a very special hangout. I'm really giving away something that I normally only reserve for my own personal coaching students that are all in. We call those folks Tough Certified because of our, our team name. Uh, so for those of you that are on this call, you really are going to be getting something special because uh, what I'm going to show you today is basically how to find your million dollar idea. Now, a million dollar idea, uh, definitely I can't guarantee that you're going to make a million dollars, but I can tell you that your odds of being a tremendous success, both financially and personally, et cetera, are much, much greater if you know some of the tips that I'm going to show you today. So stay with me here. I'm going to actually be showing you a presentation to start off with that I put together for you. So get your pen and paper ready because you're going to want to take notes. And then after the presentation, I'm going to show you my screen and literally walk you through the exact step that you can use in order to narrow down your million dollar idea. Pretty neat, huh? So I'm so glad you're with me today. I know it's the holiday week, so enjoy this time because we're going to make it so that your 2015 quite possibly could be the best year you've ever had financially and personally, et cetera. Exciting. All right. So get that pen and paper ready. I hope you're set to go because right now I'm going to flip over and I'm going to begin the presentation portion of this call to help you to find and unearth that million dollar idea and to help your business to really take off. All right. So flipping over. All right, so you should be able to see my, my screen right now. Uh, but basically, I've got a PowerPoint presentation up, so you're not going to be able to see me for most of the call today, but hopefully you can hear my voice clearly and see the screen. If you're having trouble in the Hangout actually seeing my screen, what I recommend you do is you can click on the video portion and make it full screen on your computer, and that should really help you to be able to, to read what I have here. Uh, of course, the, all of these calls are recorded, which is really nice. So if, if for some reason later on you didn't catch something in your notes, you can go back and watch the recording. The recordings stay up there for a full week. Uh, we do these specific calls, these hangouts as we call them, every Monday at 1.30. So uh, be looking forward to next week uh, where I'm going to show you some other things that uh, will help you and your business. All right, so today's topic is how to find your million dollar idea. And really what that uh, drills down into is choosing a niche that's profitable for you. So we're gonna just go ahead and kick it off. Some of you might be new to these calls and you may not really be familiar with you know, who I am and, and why am I even qualified to do this type of a call. So I wanted to just share briefly a little bit of background. Um, my name is Vishon Borich and I know that's kind of an unusual name. Uh, just a little bit of background there. My family believes in unusual names for women. All the women in my family uh, have the, uh, a, a name that starts with the letter V. Uh, so my mother's Vesta my sister's Vanya, uh, and then myself, Vashon. Uh, we are, I was raised in Texas, and I've been in Missouri for the past five years, which I just, I love it here. And so I live in the Branson, Missouri area. If any of you have ever been there, uh, it's really a scenic and, and tourist destination, and a lot of good shows out here, and, and uh, very hilly and uh, beautiful trees, and I live right near the water on the lake, uh, so it's, it's just very, very gorgeous. But let me give you a little background, because life wasn't always just beautiful, happy, and everything. You know, everybody has a backstory. So my background is in 2013, I, I'd like to say that my whole world pretty much changed in a weekend. <laughs> you know, most people kind of have little bits of things that happen throughout their life. My whole world came, uh, changed in a, in a weekend. In 2013, in June, and this would be the weekend of June 21st in 2013, 
I uh, was called in by uh, my employer and I had been in corporate America in the publishing industry for about 16 years and I, I was really I moved my way up the ladder from a graphic designer that was my background that was where I went to college to do all the way up uh, to a corporate executive uh, at the senior level senior project manager and, and advertising director is what I was and what ended up happening was uh, there were some severe cutbacks and in 2013 that Friday uh, June the 21st I'll never forget it uh, because it's a pivotal point for me but that I was laid off basically is what it comes down to there there was some cutbacks and I was one of the casualties it was it was a shock because I really uh, enjoyed my job however you know it, it's funny how the universe uh, really puts everything in motion when it, it's time for a new change a new direction in your life and in 2013 that same weekend uh, my husband was out of town and uh, when I called him to tell him about the news of the layoff uh, there was a different sound in his voice and I realized that you know something was up and so when he got back in town uh, the other shoe dropped and uh, we both uh, filed for divorce so not only did I lose my job I mean I'm laughing about it now because it just seems so I mean it was amazing uh, you know if you're gonna have a perfect storm that was it to lose your job lose your spouse all in one weekend but I'm happy about it because it was a pivotal point in my life it completely changed the way I think about things because nothing is certain nothing is certain in your life there are no guarantees for tomorrow there are no guarantees the only thing that you can guarantee is that you have yourself now uh, you have yourself while you're alive on this earth so you have to decide right now if you haven't made that decision now that you're going to be the commander the captain of your life and you're going to take your life in a new direction in order to to make it the best life that you can you can possibly make it and the other thing that I truly believe is that each one of us already is equipped from the time we were born we already are equipped with exactly the tools that we need in order to be a success in the in this life and so you you may you know add to those tools as you go through life you know obviously you might get an education uh, hopefully you do uh, and you know you're going to have different life experiences but you as a person are completely perfect and whole from the time you were born and you have a purpose and a direction and things that you naturally are good at and things that just come easier to you than most other people you may not really realize it because you've been, uh, you know, I know I'm kind of going off here, but you may not realize some of the gifts that you have because you are in that bubble, that work bubble where you're just trying to, you know, make a paycheck, uh, feed your family or, you know, just get by uh, to get ahead is what a lot of people are doing. But the truth is, is that you were made for so much more. And that for me happened in 2013 is when that, that I realized that. And so basically I decided at that moment in time that the only way that, that I could change my mindset was to look up. I was at the lowest point on that weekend and I realized that the only thing that I could do from here is to look up and to create the very best life possible. It was like I had a clean slate. I had a clean slate and I could create any life that I wanted to from that moment on and that's what I chose to do so I literally wrote down it took me a month really to come out of it I mean that's a lot of stress in one month in one weekend so in, in a month I, I really just went introspective I didn't really talk to many people I just kind of went within and I started to think about what was it that I really wanted out of this life and what I found was I wanted to spend more time with my sons. I have two two little boys. Uh, my youngest is six. His name's Jack. My oldest is nine. His name is Ty. And I luckily I got uh, you know full custody of them after the divorce. And we I wanted to build a better life with them. I wanted to have more time with my sons, and I wanted to be there for them. I didn't want to always be working and and not have enough time uh, to to enjoy them while they're while they're still kids. And the uh, the other side of it was. I also really, really enjoy the martial arts. Some of you who, who know me or have gotten to know me, you know that I've been involved in the martial arts, specifically the traditional Okinawan arts of karate. I got involved in that from the time I was about my oldest son's age, age nine, and I'm in my 40s now. 
And so I, I knew that that was another part of my life. And I've also always loved the internet. And so the way that I saw to combine this was I've had a martial arts school here for quite a while. And uh, so I decided, you know what, what if I continue just growing my martial arts school? Cause I do that in the evening time, uh, two, three times a week. And then during the day uh, while my kids are at school, what if I grew an internet marketing company? Cause I've always loved the internet and I was able to find a system, you know, so that I wasn't starting from scratch. I found a system that allowed me to grow my own business online as well as give me the freedom and flexibility to continue doing martial arts, which is my other passion and also spend the time with my sons, which is what I wanted. And so it's a perfect world and it, you know, it took a little while to get there, but literally I feel like I've completely transformed my life and turned it into such a better experience and it continues to change and grow. And now I'm, I'm inspiring other people to do the same, to really live out their true purpose in, in their true life. So I really went, and that's kind of what these other bullet points are for. I went from corporate executive to a stay-at-home entrepreneur and a martial artist. So th those are the two things that I really focus on is this internet business that I'm in and then my, my martial arts. So I, I feel like I found the things that I need in order to grow and continue to grow in my life. So let me tell you the next, let me go to the next slide. That gives you a little more background on me. But basically on any given Monday, and today's Monday when I recorded this, if you're watching the recording, I do these every Monday. But on any given Monday, I am one sale closer and one idea away from being a millionaire. And that's from Larry Turner. And so really when you think about it, there are a million and one ideas that are out there. And you just have to find your idea, the, the one idea that, that excites you, that other people are interested in, that can take you and your life to that next level. And we're going to show you how to do that today. We're going to show you how to find that one idea and to really explode that in, in your life and in your business and put you in a place and in a point that you are happy to get up every morning you're excited about mondays like mondays are my most exciting day i can't wait to get up out of bed because i know that i shape my my monday i shape my day and it becomes whatever it is that i want it to be can you imagine getting up every day and being that excited about life if you're not that excited about life it's time to change that and let's make this year the 2015 is just around the corner here let's make this year that year for you all right, so what is a million dollar idea? Well, we're gonna talk about that. It's really, it's three things. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what three things make up a true million dollar idea. So the first thing, you must have a burning problem. And this is you know a problem that a good number of people have in the world that, that you know, as a problem, problem that, that maybe they can't find the solution that they're looking for. Okay. A burning problem. The second thing is a starving audience. So that's the, the group of people who is looking for a solution for this burning problem. And that really leads into the third thing, the exact solution that they want most. Okay. So those are three things. Now some of you may be scratching your head and say, well, that's obvious. Okay. How do I, find that for me you know how do i find a exact solution and the starving audience well, we're going to go through that today but you have to keep these three things in mind when you're narrowing down which of your ideas are going to be your million dollar idea okay so it must be a burning problem with a starving audience and you must have the exact solution that they want most now here's a little thing i didn't put here but you may have an exact solution. There may be somebody else who has the exact solution. Does that mean that you shouldn't do it because somebody else already has the solution? Heck no. I mean, let's just take uh, <laughs> let's just take the, uh, the 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 weight loss business for example. There is a a a burning problem. You know, there's a lot of people, especially it seems in America, that want to lose weight, right? And you know, so you have a starving audience, and it's a burning problem. Uh, that you know there's a lot well, they're not starving but they're, they're, it's an audience that that has a problem 
and look out there at how many different weight loss problem or tools and solutions and pills and exercise equipment and on and on and on that's been developed to combat that that problem that burning problem for that starving audience and it, it does that mean that it you know it's burnout no that the problem still exists and there's lots of solutions to the problem so i want you to also keep that in the back of your mind that just because somebody else has done it doesn't mean that you know that your solution isn't going to be just as good and that you're not going to be just as successful as somebody who's already developed the you know the latest pill uh or exercise regime or, or diet that's going to help solve the weight loss problem okay so keep that in mind as we go on through this all right so here's the next tip next piece of advice and that is don't try to be a mall be a specialty store and what I mean by that is a lot of times people come into the business and they want to try to hit everybody like they have a solution and they think that everybody is their audience well that's not the case you know the, the most successful people choose a small segment of the world a small audience or a niche as we're going to talk about that they focus on so they're a specialty store those are the people that are going to make the most money are the ones that that know their audience and they're hitting that specific audience so we're going to teach you how to find that specific audience and stop trying to be a mall be that specialty store and there's your million dollar idea all right so the first thing is you need to have a niche if you go back to that quote in order to be a specialty store, you must have a niche. So the, the best way to find your niche is to really know yourself. Because, you know, who, who is it? Who are you? And what do you bring to the table? What skills, what natural abilities, what things excite you uh, that, that you can talk about or share with others and, and solve a problem? And then secondly, with your niche, you need to be very specific. And we're gonna go into a lot more detail about these, but you need to be very specific as to what you are hoping to solve in that niche. And I talk about here three levels deep. We're gonna talk about how to find something that's three levels deep because you are usually too broad in your niche if you're not at least three levels deep, All right? And then thirdly, what excites you? I don't want you to just go into finding your million dollar idea to make money. And I know that a lot of you are saying, well, heck yeah, I'm here to make money. Well, the truth is anybody can make money. But if you are just going into the business to make money and you're not happy, you're if it's something you're not interested in and it doesn't excite you, you're going to get burnt out really, really quickly. And it's really true. Money cannot buy happiness. What buys you happiness is your excitement and your passion. If you know what you're passionate about and it excites you every day, then the money really will follow. I know that you've heard these things before, but it's so true. Every multimillionaire that I've ever met and talked to, and I've, I've spoken with a lot of them over the past year, every one of them says, follow your passion. You know, find something that completely excites you and continue to work towards that dream until it becomes profitable. Now, making that dream profitable, that's what we're getting into today. What what part of your dream is going to make you the most profitable? So let's let's go into a little deeper on who you are. Okay, so oh, I skipped ahead one here. Give me a second. Okay, who are you? So here are the best ways to really narrow your niche so first of all get a piece of paper and you know don't do this now but later on what I want you to do is when you get done with this hangout is write down you know what types of things that you like to do what are your favorite activities you know if you aren't working or maybe you enjoy your job I don't know um, what is it about your job that you really enjoy write those things down or what is it about your life or your hobbies or your activities that, that really excites you and 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 uh, that you enjoy or maybe you have a natural ability towards or people have said to you hey you're pretty good at that you know can you show me how to do that if anyone's ever said that to you write those things down because those are things that you may be able to share with others on how to do it so and we talk about the past version of yourself 
one of the best ways to find your million dollar idea is to look at something in your past that you have successfully solved. So maybe you're somebody that has lost a great deal of weight in your life. Maybe you know you were more than 30 pounds overweight and you successfully lost the weight and kept it off. Well, talk about how you did it. Share that as your million dollar idea. What did you do in order to, to lose the weight? Or maybe uh, you came up with something, you built something or a craft project that you've created that everybody just, just thinks it's awesome and they love to get it as a gift or they ask you for it. Or maybe it's a recipe that, uh, that you figured out that maybe you cooked the best apple pie out of anyone that anyone's ever met. Uh, write these things down. You know, what are things from your past that you have learned how to do that you could possibly share with other people? Um, okay, so that's one area as to fleshing out who you are. The other one is a present version of, version of yourself. So what do I mean by that? What's something that you've always wanted to learn how to do? You know, or maybe, and let's go back to weight loss just because it's such a popular topic during the holidays. You know, maybe you could stand to lose 30 pounds or more. And you want to embark on a project in which you uh, try something new, a new diet, a new exercise plan, whatever, in order to lose that weight. And you document your process and how you do it. And I'll give you an example. Uh, and maybe you saw the movie. Movie. There's a movie called uh, Julia and Julia. And it was really good. It was about this woman named, named Julia who decided that she wanted to go through Julia Child's cookbook. And Julia Child is a very famous uh, cook, a chef, if you aren't familiar with her. And she has this cookbook. And so this, this woman, this young woman in her 20s or so, wanted to go through the cookbook and every day uh, do a recipe, a different recipe out of that cookbook. And she documented that uh, throughout her blog. She wrote a blog and every day she documented her success or failure with the recipe, how it turned out, uh, and kind of her life as it was going on and unfolding during her doing this cookbook. Well, it became a huge sensation, uh, so huge that her blog, her following just grew and grew and grew, number one. But secondly, she actually got an opportunity to meet Julia Child. Uh, she had a movie made about her and, and the writing of her blog and her book. And it, it, it really just took off. And it all started with her having a desire to learn how to cook because she really wasn't a very good cook prior to this cookbook. And she went through it. So this is just one example where somebody led another person or an audience through something that they wanted to learn how to do. And it, it, it made people very interested because it inspired them. So I, I definitely encourage you to go through and think about something that you've always wanted to do and see if that's something that you could share with the world as your million dollar idea. All right, so we're gonna go to the next slide here. And the next one has to do with being specific. And I use myself as the example here. So when I'm when you're looking for a million dollar idea, you want to find keywords that relate to that idea. And these are words that are gonna help narrow down who your audience is, your niche audience. So for me, I'm a martial artist specifically in karate. So if I look out there for karate, um, you know, people who study karate or whatnot, if I just type in the word karate in a, in a search bar, I'm going to get millions and billions in, of hits. It could be everything from, you know, uh, karate blocks to karate tournaments to karate classes. It's, you know, that's only one level deep. Now, I'm going to go down two levels. Two levels deep would be if I did a search for karate instructors. So now I'm getting a little more narrow. I'm narrowing down my niche, my keywords. Uh, so karate instructors would be two levels deep. Now I'm going to get, you know, different things related to karate instructors. But it's still not narrow enough. Now if I, at the three level deep level would be this, would be female karate instructors. So now I'm being very specific. I'm looking for female karate instructors, which happens to be what I am. And so this would help me to really narrow down who my niche is. So I encourage you when you're thinking of ideas, be it your past version of yourself, something you've accomplished, 
or your present version of yourself, something you hope to do, that you narrow down what it is that you are that you hope to do in three words. So three levels. And uh, of and and don't count. It has to be three specific things. So make sure that you, you start to, to write those things down because this is going to help you find your million dollar idea. All right, we're gonna go to the next one now. All right, and the third thing is, you know, what excites you? For me, it's female karate instructors. I wanna to get to know other ones and maybe share some information that I have on how I've grown my own, uh, you know, dojo, my karate dojo. But that may definitely not be for you. There's very few of us out there, I think, that are female karate instructors. So really, you have to think about what type of people would you be excited to work with? You know, who would you enjoy working with on a regular basis? Uh, let's, let's take an example. Uh, a lot of people out there are, are tra Trekkies. In other words, they enjoy Star Trek. Well, if you've ever been to a Trekkie conference, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember what they're called. I've, I've actually never been to one, but I've seen them. I've heard about them. You know, you're going to have a certain type of people that attend those type of, of conferences. And that may not be your people. Now, if you are a Trekkie, you may say, heck yeah, I would love to go to one of those. And those are the type of people that I just resonate with. I really enjoy people who dress up like, you know, Spock. And, and I know this is kind of a humorous thing, but you know you have to think about what are the types of people you would love to be surrounded around, surrounded by. And if you are narrowing down your keywords and you think about it and the type of people that are attracted to that, if they don't excite you and you would not enjoy working with them, then you need to find another keyword. Because truly, I truly believe that when you find the thing that excites you, that's your passion. That's where you need to be. That's where you need to focus. And you may not know how to make money in it yet, but if it excites you and puts a big smile on your face just thinking about being around more people who do that, then you are you've hit on something right there. You've hit on something in you that is that you're passionate about. And then the second part of that, once you've figured out what excites you, is will it be profitable? Well, that's what we're going to show you how to do here towards the end of this call is how can you find out if it's going to be profitable? Because you may enjoy working with those people. Uh, you may think they're awesome. Uh, you, you know, it may excite you to whatever niche it was that you chose from those three, three levels deep may be great, but you need to also determine is it actually going to be profitable? And, you know, as you start making money in a niche, then those other ideas that maybe aren't profitable, you can pursue those, okay? So I don't want you to think, well, well, heck, you know, I get really excited about sleeping. <laughs> Some of you would love to have extra nap time because you're just not getting enough sleep at night, but I'm not sure, you know, exactly how you can make that profitable unless you have some kind of sleep product or, or system that's going to help people get more sleep. Um, so, you know, that may be something that you really get excited about as people who like to take naps, but it may not be profitable. And maybe that's a poor example, but you get the idea. So you need to write down ideas that are exciting to you, but um, also have potential to be profitable so that you can, number one, start bringing in income or abundance into your life. And then you can pursue those other activities that you really enjoy that might not necessarily be profitable. All right, we're gonna move on. So the next one, how do you determine if it's going to be profitable? Well, the first thing is, is come up with three to five different niches. So I talked about specifically for me, I said female karate instructors. So that would be one niche for me. Maybe another one would be, uh, you know, female uh, internet entrepreneurs or stay at home moms or something like that. So come up with three to five different niche terms that you're going to use and you're going to test them in order to see if they are profitable. And that's where we come into the next part of today's Hangout. So I'm going to actually flip over to the internet here and I'm gonna show you how you can test specific keyword phrases to see if they're going to be profitable. All right, so hopefully everybody's still with me and that you're enjoying today's call. So we're gonna flip right over now 
into my, my uh, Google here. So what I want to do first is I have a couple of different keywords that I've, I've written down on a piece of paper over here, and I'm going to test those today. So here is how you can find your million dollar idea. The easiest way is to find places that are already making money. In other words, if you're looking for gold, you don't want to just dig a hole in your backyard and hope you find it, right? You want to go where gold has already been found, correct? So you'd probably go to you know, Colorado or California or somewhere like that where gold has already been found and dig in the same places or, or pan for gold in the same places where gold has already been found, correct? That makes sense, right? So don't make it harder on yourself than it needs to be. So today, I'm going to show you how to literally pan for gold in places that gold has already been found so that you, too, can find success quickly because, you know, we don't have time to wait to be successful, right? We want to be successful as quickly as possible and then move on and create additional successes in our life. So the very easiest way that I found in order to find this gold that I'm talking about is to go to Amazon. Amazon is Amazon.com is one of the largest, if not the largest, shopping places online. And not only can you find books, but you can find just about anything on Amazon these days. And many of you have probably already been there for the Christmas holidays, shopping away, uh, you know, ordering gifts for friends and family. So Amazon, how can I use this in order to pan for gold and find my million dollar idea? Well, let me show you. So once you're in Amazon, you want to come in here to search and you want to go right to books. Okay. The reason we're going for books is because you want to see what people are already searching for. And so if I go to books, if I'm looking for female karate instructors, let's just use that to start with. And I haven't actually looked these up. This is kind of an area I haven't really focused on. I mean, I focus on it in my martial arts classes, but primarily I've been focusing on um, internet entrepreneurship. Uh, so this is going to be new. I'm curious how it's going to turn up. Okay, so I'm going to type in my, my three levels deep keywords, female karate instructors. I'm going to hit return. And we're going to probably, oh, wow, we're getting some interesting things here. Um, so disregard some of this stuff, but um, we've got some female. I may want to put this in quotes because I'm getting some pornographic looking things here. Sorry about that, gang. This is a live call. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, so now we're, we're starting to get somewhere. Um, we've got uh, Girl Fights Back, uh, an adventure book. We've got Karate Stupid. I don't know what that is. Uh, the Karate Instructor. Well, here's one. Uh, karate Instructor. Uh, some of these look like they might be novels. Uh, karate Girl. So the reason I'm looking this up, I want to see how successful books about female karate instructors are, are doing. So right here, I've got karate instructors, and I don't know. This one looks like females been been uh, been crossed out. So, but this one kind of looks like a karate instructor. So I'm going to click on this one, the karate instructor, and see what happens. Okay, it does look like this is a woman. It says uh, Sassy Allison Parker, karate instructor. So she's a female karate instructor. Um, it looks like her book's selling for $2.99. So I'm going to scroll down here. And what I'm looking for specifically is right here where it says Amazon Best Sellers Rank, the ranking. What you want is you want to find a, a category where the ranking that's l listed here is 100,000 or less. 50,000 would be your sweet spot but you want 100,000 ranking or less. This one is way too high. See, it's 1.3 million in the ranking. So what that tells me is this particular book is not selling very well. And really, there's not that many books here under Female Karate Instructor. Um, so, you know, it, it may not be that this is a very good category because there's not a lot of gold here. There's not a lot of people that are writing about it. I, I don't know if, what Karate Stupid is, but let's see what that's all about. Um, 
I'm not going to read the whole thing, but let's just see what the rank is. So even with their rank, they, they're 486,000. So they don't really have um, a very good ranking either. So I'm thinking that female karate instructors is probably not a very strong area that I would want to focus on as far as selling things to them because right now books on female karate instruction, uh, there's not very many, and the ones that are here don't have a very good rank. So hopefully you're getting the idea here. So now I'm going to try a different one. I'm going to try a different category that I that I wrote down, and that is uh, women's self defense. Okay, women's self defense. So I'm going to click on that. See what we've come up with. Okay, so we came up with quite a few here. We got a woman's handbook, self defense, uh, an old BS guide to women's self defense. Uh, Women's Self Defense Seven Programs. Um, looks like most of these are, you know, some free books. So let's let's look at. Well, let's just look at the first one. Let's see how it's doing first of all. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna scroll down here. Okay, well this is coming down a little bit. We're in the two hundred and seventy-three thousand ranking so we're still a little over a hundred thousand off from my sweet spot to know if this is a good category but let's let's look at some of the other books that are in here uh, maybe some of them that that are have a car uh, a charge this one's 99 cents let me click on that one well it's coming down this one's 231,000 in the rank Let's try this one, Women's Self-Defense. So again, I'm just checking and seeing, you know, what are the odds that I'm going to have a really good seller here? Okay, that one's still a little high. All right, so we're getting closer. So um, what I want to do is I want to keep looking uh, for, you know, categories that are going to give me the best uh, possible chance for success in my niche. Uh, so let's try another one here. I'm going to type in, um, I was looking this up the other day, uh, Shower and Rue, that's the type of karate I do, Shower and Rue techniques. Okay, well here's one, Shower and Rue, Okinawan Karate, question and answer book. So let's see that. This one's actually selling, well, zero on Kindle. I also I like to look at ones that actually have a price uh, so I can see that people are actually buying it and they're just not downloading free stuff online. So I'm going to click on this one. Let's see how, how this one's doing as far as ranking. All right, still a little high, 283 in the ranking, 283,000. Let's look at this one, uh, Essence of Okinawan Karate Do. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So if we talk about Karate Do, it looks like we're 161,000. So we're coming down. So hopefully you're kind of getting the idea. What I'm trying to do is find topics that are really going to hit big. And if you come into a category when you're typing these in and you find that the first, you know, the first three books are 100,000 or less as far as uh, ranking, then you have really landed on something. And that, my, my friends, that's how you find out what your true niche is all about. All right, so that's one way, that's one method to find your niche. So here's the, here's the cool thing, and, and I haven't really revealed this part, is okay, so let's say that you found your niche. And your niche, uh, let's say it's in my case, uh, Okinawan Karate Do. And if I write a booklet, and a book doesn't have to be more than 10 pages. But let's say I write a book and I sell it for 99 cents or, or whatever the going rate is these days for an ebook. If I already have a topic that has 100,000 or less ranking in Amazon, there is almost a guarantee that that book is going to sell like hotcakes. So you, you really can start making money right away by publishing in a topic that you already know, number one, and number two, that already has a high ranking in Amazon. So you see where I'm going with this? You have the capability within your reach to start making a, a really good living just by hitting what types of books and information make sense. Now, does this mean you have to all of a sudden become a writer? 
No, not at all. In fact, you can actually find people to write things for you. Uh, there's, there's a site called Fiverr, and we've talked about this on other calls, but it's so important for, for me to, for you to realize that you don't have to be an expert at writing or, you know, or doing video or even doing these type of hangouts that I'm doing in order to be a success. And I just pulled up uh, Fiverr. And if you come into to Fiverr, you can actually search for people. Look at this, the very top one, writing and translation. I could have somebody write a book for me. And I could literally just speak into a microphone or and talk about the topic that I know so well and then send that translation or send that audio file over to somebody at Fiverr and they will literally write your book for you. How cool is that? So, and they'll even, there's even people on here that can create graphics design. They can create your book design, ebook covers and packages right here. So, and all of it costs about $5 for anyone there to do it for you. So I want you really to start thinking outside of the box and realize that there is a river of income possibilities that, that are out there for you in order to make a living. And it's just a matter of you scooping your, your bucket into it and, and pulling it out. Okay, so that was one tip in order to find your million dollar idea. Okay, so here's the next one. So many of you that are on this call are my students and you know that one of the things that I've taught you to do is to blog every day. And we actually have what's called a viral blogging platform that is part of our internet entrepreneurship business and training. And in having this blog, a blog is a tremendous way to get content out to the public and for them to get to know you and therefore buy whatever products and services that you have for sale. So if you don't have a blog, you need to get one because blogs are one of the number one ways to get readily available content out to the public. And if you just have a website and you're not updating it on a daily basis or at least a weekly basis, then that website becomes dead and Google won't even search it anymore because it's always, Google is constantly trying to find the latest data, the latest content that's out there so that their content stays fresh. And the best way to have fresh content is to have a blog. And the blogs are easy to do. You don't have to be technologically savvy in order to have a blog. Uh, you don't even, you know, you don't even have to know to write. You can actually do a video blog, um, or you can do an audio blog if you don't feel comfortable behind a video camera. And there's a lot of different techniques that we teach in my training program on how you can turn a blog into a very, very profitable business. And if that sounds like something that you're in interested in learning how to do below my video here on this hangout you'll actually see a button where you can join team tough and by joining team tough you will get training and access to me and a team of online entrepreneurs that'll help teach you how you can turn the internet into a very profitable business okay and uh, the other thing I want to want to share with you about that is Internet business is really the way to go, in my opinion. And the reason why is the internet is exploding. There are more and more countries, not just the US, but more and more countries that are getting better and better internet access. And if you're following news lately with the opening of Cuba, uh, Cuba actually has less than 5% of the population have internet access. And the reason for that is, you know, they haven't had that that luxury but there are countries like that that now are going to be exploding with getting internet access now that they will have access to the free world and you know when you think about that if if you're not if you're not doing something with digital content on the internet you are missing the wave it's not something that's going to go away it's you know the internet is the marketplace for making a living and you know every business pretty much in the world in some form or another is connected through the internet uh, you know or if they aren't they will be in the future so uh, one of the ways that I, I coach people on my team in order to make a living is to look at an internet business and we actually provide an out-of-the-box internet business system that you can actually be up and running with your own blog and your own training programs and everything else in literally 24 hours 
so and right now you can even try it try it out if you're not sure it's for you you can try it out for seven dollars which is a steal uh, they didn't have a trial when I started so if you click on the button below you can actually click and you can be up and going with the trial system for seven dollars like today so just think about that uh, you know when you're thinking about business and how you can have that million dollar idea one of the easiest and best places that you can do that is by growing an online business all right I know I kind of went off there again but uh, these are things that I'm passionate about and I'm sure you can feel that uh, through my voice right now uh, so here we are this is the next way that you can you know narrow down your niche and and help to grow your business uh, you know any, any any business be it internet content uh, internet uh, educational programs you know your blog or just grow your own you know brick and mortar business if you know how to find that right niche so here's what I do I would come into Google and this would be after I did the Amazon search and I'm actually gonna do a search and I'm gonna do one that I actually already narrowed down and this is one that I did uh, for remote job opportunities because I had a lot of people who had asked me you know that how could they work from home like I do and so I actually put out a video uh, almost a month ago now on remote job opportunities so here's here's what you do you come in here and you type in your three level deep keyword and just in the regular web search and then you scroll down to the bottom of the page in Google and when you get down here it's going to show you some very popular searches that have been done in Google and I actually like this better than Google's keyword search because it's so quick I, uh, if you use Google keyword search and we teach you how to do that in, in our system um, there, there's a way you can actually see what search terms are, are being sought after on Google well here I did a, a category that I'm very familiar with and I like to help people do and these are other terms that people are searching for when they search for remote job opportunities so here's what you do you come in you search for your keyword and you copy these and put them into a notepad or a word document so that you have them and then what you do is you write a blog or you shoot a video that has those words in it if I'm shooting a video I'm actually going to say the words remote job opportunities and maybe two or three more of these keyword phrases in my video and what that's going to do is it's going to help your video or your blog post to shoot to the top of Google why is this beneficial well if you can shoot any topic to the top of Google search and you have an offer a special offer that's connected with that topic now you have something that's gonna make you money instantly online okay so let me show you what I did I'm gonna to go to the videos for remote job opportunities I want you to see some these are ads up here but the very first video that comes up is mine this is me right here so this is remote job opportunities on YouTube and uh, you can see I posted this on December 5th and it's still uh, number one on the list for videos related to remote job opportunities so think about this if in this video I actually have a special offer uh, for my coaching program and the system that I'm in and I'm getting leads from this every day so let's you know if you have a specific topic or, or niche that you're looking to to really dive into then video is an excellent way to go and I want to show you something too with this with this video some of you have been on my other hangouts in which I've done this stuff I'm not gonna play the whole thing but if you go down here underneath the description I used all of those keywords in my description so remote job opportunities is here uh, remote employment opportunities was one of the other ones that was listed in the Google uh, remote work from home business there's another keyword uh, remote part-time job that was another keyword remote careers so notice I peppered my description with the keywords that I found based on my three level deep niche remote job opportunities
So if I keep making videos that are related to this, I'm going to use similar keywords and do that. And then in my videos, I'm going to put a link. Like here I have my link to my, to my capture page. I'm going to put a link to that right here in all of my videos and all of my descriptions so that I am now driving traffic to a special offer and I'm solving a problem. I'm solving the problem of people seeking out remote job opportunities and where they can find them and how they can get started right away. So th these are just two ideas on how you can narrow down your niche. So I'm going to flip back over here to, to me. Give me a second here. All right. Hello. I'm back again. Good to see you again. So I know I've given you a lot of information today, and I want you to consider that you are one idea away right now from becoming a millionaire. Now, if you are one of my students, you right now have in your hands the toolkit in order for you to build a business, an online business, where you can potentially make a million dollars. Now, I want to, I want to say potentially because nobody is guaranteed. You know, no matter what business that you start, or if you're one of my students, you are never guaranteed that you're going to make that much money. I can't guarantee I'll be here tomorrow, you know. I can't make guarantees like that. But what I can tell you is that if you put into action the techniques and tips that we share with you, and you go through the training, and you continue to take action daily without giving up, that you will hit your goal, whether it's, you know, $10 or $10 million, eventually you will hit your goal if you continue to press forward. Now, are there going to be setbacks? Of course there are. There's always temporary setbacks in life and in business. There always are. I can guarantee you that. But the people that succeed and become wealthy and have the life that they've always wanted, those are the ones that never give up. They continue focusing on their dream. They continue putting things into action. And they continue driving their passions just like their life depends on it. And what's amazing is, is that the more they do it, the easier it becomes, the better they get at it, and the more that people are attracted to them. Because people want to be around people that are happy. I mean, don't you? If you're around people in your life, your business, or your workplace that are miserable, out. It's time to change the way you're living, change your life, and do something that really makes a difference. And by making a difference, that means making life more fun for you and more fun for other people. And I truly believe if you're following your passions, that it just bubbles up. You just you you can feel it when you're around people that are that are following their passions. It you can feel that energy and that power and that excitement. And you want to be around those people, don't you? I mean, I do. I love being around people that, that are excited about life and are doing things to make life better for not only themselves but for other people as well. And so I know I'm out there. I love to inspire people, and I get really excited, and I start these little lectures, don't I? But I hope that you found a tremendous value in what I provided you today. And I'd like you to, to do me a favor. If you watch this Hangout, take the lessons that I taught you today and grow your business whether it's you know if you want to join my team and you want to be a part of what we're doing then you know use it to grow that business if you are in some other business and you're looking to grow that use it for that i'm not here to 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 sell you i'm here to help make your life better in some way shape or form if i've done that then i have done what my passion is so live out your dreams have a passionate life and most of all have a very happy holiday Tremendous New Year and Merry Christmas. See you next week.